The literal meaning of Machans is actually brother-in-law. But after a while, it became like uh, people calling their friends, Machan and all. So what better way to you know, get into the market as your friend? Hi guys, I'm Siva and uh, my family and I co-founded this uh, Machan's Kitchen uh, four years ago. We are located at 74 Racecourse Road. Uh, we also specialize in uh, South Indian authentic Tamil cuisine. So starting out, we actually had a lot of uh, names that we wanted to name the place. A lot of the different races in Singapore also know what Machan means. They call their friend Machan. The literal meaning of Machan is actually brother-in-law. But after a while, it became like uh, people calling their friends Machan and all. So what better way to you know get into the market as your friend. Uh, when my cousins came from India, right, we tried a lot of places but we couldn't find the authentic spicy taste that we get back in back home. So we decided to bring it here and start our own to bring the authentic taste. So the idea to start the restaurant uh, was conceived back in 2015. So uh, the business was started with me, my brother, my two cousins and my parents. So my cousin was the one who went back to India, scouted all the chefs, brought them here. They know what they're doing. They are already trained to give us the most authentic taste. Uh, starting out, uh, we didn't have a lot of uh, cash. We didn't have a lot of money to start the business. So my dad is the one who took a few loans and supported us to you know, get into the restaurant business. It was not easy la, because we had to do everything on our own at first. Employment also, because we needed specialized workers, right? Because chefs who are already trained in this cuisine is not easy to find. So my cousin found, went and uh, taste, taste tested a lot of chefs and then brought them over. It was a huge risk to bring them over so you don't know whether they will, uh, they will choose to stay after a while. Most of our chefs are still with us. Uh, because of the welfare and the perks that they get with us and we really take care of them to ensure that you know they stay with us to keep the taste authentic and so that customers you know don't feel the difference or anything. Currently due to the pandemic we actually faced a lot of uh, manpower issues so what we did was uh, as, as it is a family run business uh, we put my mom and all in packing and me, my wife, my brother and all, we started serving the customers. So it was tough because we had to also, you know, uh, do accounts and all that and also serve customers. It was not easy, but right now things are improving. I would say that the best sellers for Machan's Kitchen would be our Machan's Mutton Biryani, also our Nelay Chili Chicken and uh, we have fish tawa fry, curry leaf fish fry, all our special authentic uh, fish fries. So for our Machan's mutton biryani, uh, different from the North Indian biryanis, we use the uh, siraga sambar rice. Usually if you find it will be the long rice, the basmati rice. So for siraga sambar rice, it's more authentic to South Indian biryanis and the taste and the flavour that it gives is different. So some people prefer that to the basmati rice. We also have basmati rice biryanis, but our cereal sambar rice biryanis has a fan following as well. And also the nele chili chicken, we use boneless chicken cubes and uh, capsicum and onions. Uh, it's tossed in fire and has some spicy sauce and all that. So nele chili chicken is a uh, best seller as well. For our curry leaf fish fry and fish tawa fry, uh, for curry leaf fish fry, we have a paste that is made from curry leaf and other spices and then we marinate the fish and also uh, we fry it on the tawa which makes it uh, very authentic to our South Indian style. Okay, in the four years that we have been functioning, the accomplishments that we have achieved, uh, I would basically say that we have expanded all uh, from one unit to two units. Although we couldn't break the wall in between to expand. Uh, we have a bigger kitchen now uh, and also a bigger dining space. Although there's no connection in between, we have been trying to do things to function this 
both units and also uh, we have uh, 900 plus Google reviews which are mostly positive for aspiring business owners uh, I would like to say that you have to be a little more a little bit more patient in all these things and the planning is very important planning part is very important also there needs to be a part where you have to take a leap of faith in the beginning and also you have to accept a bit of failures here and there also uh, you have to be motivated even if you know like certain things don't work out you have to keep motivated and push on to make sure your business succeeds lah. also sometimes if you are doing it as a family right there will be some uh, problems here and there it's going to be difficult because if you want to start up, start a business on your own you have to have partners and all but if the partners are your family members you have to know where to draw the line and you know like picky blinders you have to have contracts you know things you learn from picky blinders lah.